come and um, wanted to address address you. But again, it's happening in real time, and his his speech led to Buffalo, New York this weekend. In addition to, I know that the Congresswoman is still in route because her staffer is here, and I know there's some other staffers. But if there was anyone, it doesn't have to be me. Again, when we organize this event, we say the community organized by the organized for the community by the community. So this is, I mean, this is the bullhorn from the school, but anyone can use it. So if you wanted to say a few words, I know there was another man who was here speaking with me, and he was. Um, Jewish, and he was just explaining to me, like, you know, in the 60s and the 70s, and how he lived in Rochester, New York, adjacent, about three hours shy, or 90 minutes shy of Buffalo. He's like, you know, I used to shop at a top supermarket, and then he was going into different things that he felt kind of impacted himself and his people, and he's like, this is just, it's so hard, like, we're all in this together. And I was like, I know, and he's like, and did you read the manifesto? I'm like, I don't read manifesto. But, you know, he was just telling me all of the hate that was viewed in there, and I was just like, you know, again, like with the children and the social media and the different things, some of these things you don't even want to let it in. You don't even want to take it in because I, I don't want to know about it because it's just something else in the process. But when it's brought to our doorstep, when it's brought to us and we have to address it, then we have to address it. But if there was anyone else who had a few words that they would like to say, feel, feel welcome to, but we're still going to be here for a little bit more while we await the Congresswoman's arrival.